Hello, everybody. My name is Gary, and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. This video is not being recorded like I normally would. Like, I, I wasn't, I didn't wake up and I'm like, oh, I want to record Subnautica Below Zero. It, uh, something else happened. But before I explain that, I just want to give you guys a quick, friendly little reminder. If you guys do enjoy content like this, make sure you subscribe and also turn on that notification bell so you get notified every single time I upload a video. And also give the video a big thumbs up so I know that this is the type of content you guys would like to see. Now, the reason that I am recording this video is because I tried to record it. Um, I actually ended up recording about an hour and 20 minutes or something um, a couple of days ago. And it it didn't record any of the game audio. Don't know why. I could not give you a reason. OBS was just like, nope, we're not going to record anything that you want to record. So I ended up recording like two or like a video and a half of Subnautica and then realized that it wasn't recording the game audio. And so I didn't save anything that I did. And I am slightly annoyed about it because I hate, it's one of my biggest pet peeves whenever something goes wrong and I have to re-record something, which is one of the reasons that sometimes series takes so long for me to finish because I hate doing the same thing over and over and over again, especially if it means like story-wise, like I've already done it what it's so so annoying and i know if i don't record this video now it is going to be months before i record the next episode of subnautica below zero so this the goal of this video is to get where i was before before i found out that the video wasn't recording art audio and maybe try something different so that i don't lose my actual mind i've kind of forgot what we were doing though we need a rebreather and we need to figure out something to do because I don't know what to do. Let's go over to the creep vine area. And I found out how this works, by the way. So the reason that it wasn't working before is because I had it on silver ore. Um, and silver ore is specifically like, um, when I, uh, do you guys remember in the first game in the active lava zone, there were the areas of like the giant things of copper and quartz and things that you needed to use the prawn suit to drill. That's what the silver ore was searching. So I need to search for this, an argentite uh, outcrop. But I want to try and find more uh, sea truck fragments. That is my goal. There's something down here, I think. If I can remember correctly from the last time that I recorded this video, there is something down here that I need. 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Yes, so that's a problem, but that's okay because there's some things down here that I need. There's things. Okay, I am in the same spot that I uh, needed to be. Can I scan this? No. Okay, never mind. It's precursor tech, but there's stuff down here at the bottom, such as sea truck fragments. Thank you. I appreciate it. There's the sea truck. Warning. Passing 200 Ooh, meters. Okay, maybe not Oxygen that well. I need this for something. Don't remember what, but we're gonna grab them. This is what I wanted to find. Um, this is what we need. The rebreather so that the uh, depths won't be so daunting, I guess is the word we can use. I don't think that there's anything else. So let's head up. Um, hopefully we can find some more uh, silver. I know that silver is something that I was needing a lot of before. I'm kind of just basing this off of what Oxygen. we were doing or what I was doing before. The, the whole video, by the way. There it is. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh. What one are one. you? Passing 100 no. meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. I don't need more sea truck fragments. Where am I going? Um... I think we need creep vine stuff. Ow! How are you so fast? How much inventory space do we have? I think I need like one of these. I'll grab two and then we can cut a cr two creep vine or not. Because you can only, okay, um, go away. Live your best life. So what do I need to make the rebreather? A wiring kit, fiber mesh and silicone rubber. Seek fluid intake. Yeah, so five. Oh, I knew we needed two of them. That's just annoying. Wiring kit. Do I have one in here? No. Mm, maybe we'll make another battery for this thingy. 
It's at 1%. Okay. So something that I learned in this game, so in the last one, if you had a battery at 0% and then you went to use it in something, um, so say you wanted to craft like a new sea glide or whatever, um, it would go to 100% power. So the you could use the 0% battery and you'd still have the item at 100%, uh, like the battery power at 100% after you used it. In this game, it's not like that. You can use the 0% battery, but then the tool is at 0% as soon as you craft it, which is slightly frustrating. And a rebreather. That was simple. The rebreather facilitates extensive free diving by recycling air more efficiently at significant depths. The Why do you say breathe the freedom like that? It's kind of very unsettling. Can I like have something to do? I don't have anything to do. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. What is a spiral plant clipping? Ooh, we do need the mobile vehicle bay. We could work on that. Mobile vehicle bay. That was easy. Well, now what? What's down here? Storage module fragment. I haven't been down here yet, by the way. Ah! <laughs> nothing happened! Literally nothing happened! What are you? Broken mandrake? We'll go back up. I don't like this area. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen. Storage module. I need one more, so we're going back down. Ooh, there's a PDA. I haven't heard this before or Jeez, seen it. A cracker. Saw me. Managed to eject the cargo modules and hide. Sit here with the lights off, sweating through my shirt. I'm not gonna get pooped out of the back end of a sea monster to save Altera some money. Manuel, not going to be happy. Not one bit. Oh! So you adventured into the deep dark down? There is something down here. I don't know. Was that you that was making that noise? Oh my lord. What are you? A squad! <laughs> Sorry, push the buttons. We can we can stop that now. We can stop. I'm like really scared. Okay, so I can read that in a second. Warning. Sorry, that heartbeat that you that you're hearing, that's my actual heart. Altera beacon signature detected. Unique identifier. Delta Where? Station dock. Where? Ah! Station. This is the place Lil mentioned in her message. Is that one? Storage fragment. That's what I was. Can we stop? Warning. <gasps> am I dead? I am so sorry. I am so so sorry. I didn't know that that would. Oh well, what was it that I lost? Anything that was super important? I don't think so. Squid shark, a leviathan class predator. Oh, at the smaller end of the scale, this complex squid-like adaptations which allow it to hunt a wide range of prey, expels swallowed seawater through vents on either side of its body, providing slow and steady jet uh, propulsion or terrifying bursts of speed on internal jaw an internal jaw can be extended and clamped down around small prey dragging them inside the mouth hole two blue electro electrified tentacles drag beneath its body used to perform hit and run attacks on larger slower targets subduing them over time assessment avoid that's great that is fantastic oh wait i didn't get um c truck log one I dropped a beacon? Does that show where I died? What? So if I have a beacon in my inventory, does it drop it? Or is it just if um, I like have, or is it every time that I die, I drop a beacon? I don't know, because that's the first time that I've died. No, don't. Can we stop? Would you mind stopping, please? Oh my Lord. What are you? Ah, oh, not again! Oh, I live. Where did you? Do we just head over to that? Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Hmm. Maybe. 
let's go back home really fast and see if I can empty my inventory at all. And then we'll head over there. What can I do to empty my, empty my inventory? Maybe take a few of these, that, that. Um, we'll put these away. That's all I really can do. Sure, we'll say that's good for now. Um. Perfect. Okay, let's go. Now we are venturing into uncharted territory. Well, uncharted for us. Um, which I think that there's more items around. What are you? Whoa. So you are hostile, but I think with these guys, you just have to smack them and they don't do very much damage, but then they leave you alone. So like that, and then they just go away. I think so, at least. Did I ever read the brute shark? More things to scan. What are you? Chance of silver. I don't think I really need silver at the moment. A Calvarite outcrop. I think this is where we get gold. Yeah. I'll just grab a little bit. Ooh, what's down here? What is this? This seasoning technology exhibits a data signature that strongly correlates with the previously recorded distress call. Interesting. How about I can use this new data to identify where that call was coming from? An ore vein? uploaded to PDA. Um, I actually did find this last time. Uh, I'll read it in a second. Climb up. Climb up. Okay, fine. Don't climb up, I guess. That's fine, too. And that's fantastic. Mineral distillery. The structure of this device and internal scans indicate a likely utility in processing and extracting min minerals out of the water. The device en is engineering is engineered to suck water into a superheated primary chamber. As the water boils, steam is forcefully condensed back into a separate chamber that releases the processed water back into the ocean. The minerals that are left behind are gathered in the attached container module. Activation and control... Control parameters remain unknown. A brute shark, a common shark-like predator with low intelligence. Its relatively streamlined body enables fast navigation of tight spaces. Yellow turquoise coloration provides camouflage in shallow waters. Slow moving, it ambushes small fish from above. Assessment, minor threat. Um, a cryptosuchus. The cryptosuchus is a large shark-like beast, easily identifiable by its carapace of thin bony plates. Structure. These plates are defensive bony structures that aid in heat absorption and among, among thermal vents. It propels itself with wide webbed flippers that displace massive amounts of water. Behavior. The cryptosuchus is a bit of a contradictory creature despite its fearsome appearance it is more roar than bite uh while territorial the cryptosuchus tends to retreat from confrontation after being attacked once this is likely a form of agnostic posturing aggressive fauna tend to avoid fights if the probability of injury is too high assessment avoid but can be handled in a pinch see they you just have to give them a good one two smackaroo and then they leave you alone so they're pretty easily dealt with Ooh, thank you if I decide to build build above water. <gasps> coffee? I don't even like coffee, but I want it. A trash can, of course. Everybody needs a trash can. A bench. A thermos. Oh, yeah. So we get a thermos that we can build, and then we can put drinks in it. I think just coffee. We can put, like, multiple coffees in it, if need be. I'm going to actually leave this here, because this is for the Delta, or the station. I'd rather not. It doesn't seem like fun. I, I want to explore. Also, I know exactly who that person is, and I'm not telling you guys a thing. So with these these things, the hu the horse thingies, you can pick up shrub nuts and you can eat them. And they're actually really good. Is there anything like around the edge of it? I don't remember like exploring that much. I just went straight to the top, straight to up there. Penguins. Is there a small one that I can pick up? Can I pick up you? Can I pick up you? No. That's a shame. Whoa. Cool. This place is awesome. I also didn't look up, so I didn't like show you guys any of that. Sorry. I don't know where I'm going. To, to be completely honest, I don't know where I am. Also, this is why I brought this. 
the flashlight so that we can see in areas like this. Look how useful! I'm a genius for making this. An absolute genius. I think I can pick up snow, too. And you can, like, throw them. Right? Ah, oh, that was weak. Oops. Harder! I am... I have the worst arm ever. Why do these snowballs weigh like a million tons? I think I'm missing something somewhere. I just don't know where. Where is it? It's necessary for my survival. Very necessary. Here it is. I knew it was somewhere. No, I don't want that. Nope, didn't want that either. Emmanuel's special request. Emmanuel gave me this jail broken scanner tool thing thing and said I need more shower heads. This should lead you to the necessary minerals. What? He also told me to keep on the down low. I guess this is what a master's certificate in applied geology gets you on uh, these days. A job as a glorified construction worker. Ugh. I should have studied interstellar law like dad said. I have to hand it to Emmanuel though. I don't know what he did to the scanner, but it does a great job at zeroing in on specific minerals. It's better than hoping uh, I... Hoping I stumble across the right outcrops. Outcroppings. Sorry. Actually, this wasn't what I wanted. There's something somewhere on this island. And I don't know how to get it. I think it's on this island. Unless I'm going crazy, which is very likely. Maybe it's up this way? I don't know. Where am I going? Oh, hello. Stop right there, Altera. You're out of bounds. I'm not with Altera. Oh! Then your position is doubly precarious. What do you mean? If you're telling the truth, you're out of your mind. If you're lying, there'll be hell to pay. Why do you have a giant what? knife? Who are you? Stay off my land. I don't think you own this land. Just saying. You don't own the island. I know who that is, and I'm not going to tell you guys. But think back to the first game. Suit has been traced as far as my technology will allow. It would Ooh, Delta Station. I'm far less alone on this planet than I had anticipated. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Pilot last known location. All right. Well, there's Delta Station. We found it. This is what I was looking for. The builder tool or the fragment. Bioreactor? That is not at all what I scanned. There we go. Habitat builders. That way we can build a home because you currently our inventory is very full. Very full. And what is this? A scanner room? Thank you. Integrating new PDA data. This place looks pretty abandoned to me. Oh wow, I'm getting everything. Everything that I could ever want. Anybody home? Knock, knock. Kill all. Oh. Hey, guys. Your, your thing kind of like flooded, but with snow. I don't know if you guys are aware or not. Just in case you weren't. For the last time, I'm not cheating. Then what's your theory? What's <gasps> it's going Sam. on? If you ask me, Zeta's been blinking a lot. I think it's a tell. He does have a point there. It's allergies. Allergies? Oh, is something in bloom in this frozen sector? Thermal lilies. And if you gang up on me, I swear you're all fired. <laughs> you're not even my boss. Oh, you're all so gullible. You're fighting each other. Meanwhile, look at Parvin. <laughs> just look at him. What am I doing? I'm not doing anything. Let's just take this to a vote. All those who think Zeta's allergies are a bad case of alienitis, say intruder. Intruder. Uh, intruder. Intruder. Danny? Oh, I'm just an observer here. I'm going to use my pass. Is there some kind of scientist conspiracy going on here? Zeta, Sam, Danielle, you three are suddenly very aligned. Or, like I said, Parvin is cheating. I'm starting to wish I was cheating. Ooh. Well, come in handy. This map is what she's talking about now. Robotics where Sam worked. I don't know what that is. I don't know what any of these symbols mean, by the way. Um, so we have a few things. 
We have Fred Lockins. Look, yeah, mm-hmm. IT curer, curer and maintenance generalist reports to Emmanuel Desjardins, current project, various personality. I don't, you have their personality? I don't get it. Um, Jeremiah M Mergel, this is what he, ew. I don't like your face. Technician reports to Emmanuel Desjardins, current project, communications, tower, maintenance, personality, blah, blah, blah. Maps, Altera facilities maps, Delta Station, Mission HQ communications and logistics, Phi Robotics Center, engineering and robotics, Outpost Zero, Xenobiological Bio Research, Copa Mining Site, material excavation, Omega Lab, Biological Research, classified. I don't understand where these are. Like, I don't know, is this Delta Station? I don't know what's what. The sea truck is an advanced underwater vehicle with attachable modular cabins for maximum of, uh, adaptability in the field. Main cabin, small and nimble when encumbered by additional modules. The main cabin alone is comparable in speed to the Seamoth. A wide reinforced glass viewing window provides excellent forward visibility while at the helm. Retractable helms person's chair. No expense spared. Unlike the larger Cyclops submarine, the sea truck does not support the addition of internal modules like fabricators. However, it can be upgraded to enhance its speed, towing power, and crush depth, amongst other things. Rating, speed, variable depending on cargo, crush depth, 150 meters, upgradable, power, two times replaceable power cells, upgrade module slots, four, persons, one plus, additional modules, bespoke cargo modules, cargo modules can be attached to the rear of the main cabin, providing a range of powerful benefits. Available modules include fabricators, docking stations, habitat, habitation sections, and of course, plenty of storage. Additional cargo modules reduce the sea truck's speed, maneuverability, and power efficiency. Additional modules can be jettisoned directly from the main cockpit control to enable exploration of tight spaces or in case of emergency. The sea truck competing products are trucking hell. Sure. Um, the old the ultimate utility upgrade the storage module serves as a large mobile cache for cargo of various types with an additional five lockers of multiple dimensions this module is unrivaled in vehicle storage possibilities most commonly used by researchers collecting samples or prospectors aggregating um, mine deposits including customizable labels for ease of organization cool okay we have fred's bed nice bed fred I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, it's not something... Okay, it's just a blueprint. It wasn't, like, something to read on. Communications tower I don't like Jeremiah's face. Another day, another I'll come back for the posters. The Furies. As usual, I got an interference alert. As usual, I went out to see what the problem was. As usual, it was frozen stalagmites of feathered bird excrement. I fear the career impact of saying this officially. If you can even call what I have a career. But I could swear they're targeting me personally. <gasps> the week I was out with the flu, I came back to find the tower spotless. Parvin laughed at me when I asked him how he cleaned it. Silly me. As if Parvin would ever clean anything. There's nothing left for me to do but quit. But I know that's what the birds want me to do. Oh, and I got the tower up and running. Maintenance complete. He seems a bit crazy. Just saying. Ooh, nice picture, Sam. Sam's spy pangling drawing. Thanks for everything, Fred. You're welcome, Sam. Jenny, you wouldn't believe the adventure I'm having. It's just like when we were kids and we used to play underwater city. Only sea monsters aren't pretend and I don't need to hide behind you when one swims by. Because I'm safe in my sea truck. Safe and very, very brave. Please tell Dad for me. Thanks so much for the mustache kit, by the way. To be honest, I wasn't sure if it was a gag gift at first. Personal grooming is something of a challenge here, and as you know, I'm a pretty low-maintenance guy to begin with. But you'd be surprised how handy mustache wax is in an emergency. There have been some close scrapes. For a while there, someone was sabotaging my truck, and I thought I was seeing things. But my friend Sam helped me sort it out. Although, she's had some troubles no. of her own lately. To be honest, Why is there an invisible I wall? Out here sometimes. But I guess that's normal, under the circumstances. You gotta expect a little risk, right? I should be happy. I have great friends and a good paycheck. Anyway, love you, Jenny. 
And Dad, just scan the stupid please bird. find a way to tell him that he won't find embarrassing. And don't worry, I'm looking for the perfect fish to bring back as a gift. Your favorite. <laughs> what happened to Delta Station? Like, why is... What went wrong here? Because it seems abandoned. Emmanuel Desjardins. Um, human resources and communicate resources and communication liaison reports reports to Altera HQ personality. I cannot read to save my life. Cushy setup. Must belong to one of those higher uppers. Higher uppers as as what is your name? I know Sam's my sister, but I don't remember who she is. I want all of this. Keep going. Just keep scanning everything. Scan the world, honestly. Good morning, Frostpack. Just a quick update to inform you of some key achievements. Oh, that's nice. Priority shifts. We oh, that's very nice. Behind. The Spy Pangling Project was a resounding success. Please join me in congratulating Samantha IU. <gasps> Yay, Sam! Post Zero, helping us dream of future initiatives. Nice. Congratulations I always she could are do also it. in order for Danielle Valenti and her team at Omega Lab. The closing of Phi Robotics means important funds can be redirected to their Kara bacteria study, which has important, positive implications for the life sciences. You're all doing an exceptional job. Thank and you, I don't finally. Want to promise anything, but HQ has been taking notice. Keep up the good work, and I think we can start discussing bonuses soon. <laughs> nice. Sam oh. got under management skin. I didn't know she had it in her. She is your oh your name is Robin. She is your sister after Duffy, all. You'll be happy to know the Frost Pack is making excellent progress. I must say, my management style appears to be uniquely well suited to isolated planets. I miss you, of course, but I wonder if you feel it too. As great as we are together, we're almost better apart. Just look at how well Prosper did in her last show. I'm sorry I couldn't be there to see it, but I'm sure if I'd been around. I'd only have made her nervous. Once this mission is over, I'll come home for a few good months. And then, what do you think if we look at reorganizing our expectations to facilitate longer term separation success? He seems a bit really full of himself. I really think a great model for us going forward, romantically and otherwise. Don't forget, I love you from the depths of my heart. Keep on succeeding in your projects. You know there's nothing I find more attractive. I don't like a manual. He makes me uncomfy. Okay. Tower His face really is really awkward. Ooh, look at that. Okay. What is that? This time the birds have really done it. That is huge. I don't know what they've been eating, but it's corrosive when it comes out the other end. I'm gonna need to rewire. I'm I think sure Jeremiah is dick crazy. The right cable. I remember seeing some when I did that dive to the old ship. I'm gonna go out there and see if I can get some more. That should fix it. Maintenance status. Oops. Old ship? Is that what that is? Test override module port. Ooh, hey. Um, new employee training. It is recommended that all training be completed while tower is in test mode. Test mode is a fully functional simulated version of live mode. While in test mode, all communication from the tower, including distress signals, security alerts, and spy transmissions will be disabled. To initiate test mode, insert the test override module into the diagnostic port as depicted in the diagram to the left. The active test mode command may be entered via the terminal once the test override module has been inserted. Where? I don't know where you're talking about. Hi, but there was this. Can you leave me alone? Um, surveillance status report. Sector zero region scan. Two active human life forms detected. Unauthorized habitat construction and vehicular activity detected. Recommendation to observe and prepare for possible intervention. Are the two me? So Robin and whoever the um, unknown lady was? Who I know who it is, you guys don't. Um, because as I, I know who it is because remember forever ago, or well, actually in the last video, I said that I don't know much about this game, but I do know, um, I know like a little bit because I did watch somebody play a, a few, I didn't see like the full playthrough, but I did see somebody play a little bit of it. Um, we can pick up a few things now. I just didn't want to fill my inventory. We should make the modification station, um, so that we can get, 
I think we might be able to make a new oxygen thingy. An O2 tank. So now... I think we go back to the base. So that we can figure out what we need to make the habitat builder. Actually, I can look that up now. What do we need for this? A wiring kit and a computer chip. Hmm. What do I need for a computer chip? Just copper wire. I think I can do that. Mineral rich crevices detected below. Ooh. Geothermal activity detected. Caution yeah, I can advice. see it. Yeah, I can see them. All right. So copper wire. Can I make that now? No, I have one copper. Um, we'll switch it with that. Ooh, what women in exosuit. Problem. The one in the exosuit. Good I need question. To say which woman? And what the hell is she doing on this planet? I can make it, isn't it now. This is exactly a happening vacation spot. She knew the terrain well enough to make a dramatic entrance by jumping off a sheer cliff. So I guess she's been here a while. But how long has she been following me? She said to keep away from her or off her land. What in this frozen slush bog could she be protecting? Unless she's camped out somewhere. She's definitely heard of Altera, though. Did she meet Sam? Good question. All very good questions. But we can make it. I didn't think that we had all of the materials, but we do. See, oops. Um, this one. Habitat Builder. Yes. Adding emergency shelter blueprints to your data bank. And a thermos as well. With the builder tool. You can construct sea bases from raw materials, advising against exploring a frozen water continent without a base. No bed, no storage, no place to put a fabricator module. No fun. It's true. Now we just have to find a place to put it because um, I... I need more copper wire and another table coral. Darn it. Um, well, I can make the copper wire. Um... I don't know where to put it. I truly don't. I Maybe close to Delta Station in that area where it's kind of like flat and stuff. Maybe we can go build it over there. Um, and then I need, what else? Ooh, aerogel. Uh, another table coral. Okay, let's go. Oh yeah, this is dead again. Look, see, this is so unfortunate. I have one ribbon plant. Don't I need two? Yeah. Also, isn't this thing out of, ooh. Um, the builder thing, it, yep, the battery is on zero because it doesn't have a battery because it used the dead one that was in my inventory. That's so frustrating. Uh-oh. You missed, sucker. I'm gonna put all of these posters away. Why do I still have a boomerang? Why do I keep forgetting to put those away? Or drop them? What else was it need? I needed a computer chip. A computer chip, and then I need to make more copper wire as well for more batteries. I need two ribbon plants. That is so unfortunate. Okay. Um, that... How much space do you need? How big are you? Nine slots? That is unreasonable. That is... Oh, I don't need copper wire. I just need copper. You've got to be kidding. I love my life. I really do. I just love it so much. We got two. I think that's enough to make two batteries, which is exactly how much we need. So that. And then we're going to put this in three. Mm, actually, we'll probably put that in four. So this back in three, this in four. Yeah. And then I'll just whip out the flashlight if I need it. So, now let's go figure out where we want to build the base. Um, for it, though, I'm going to grab some quartz. Maybe put the lead away. Maybe more titanium. More quartz. Maybe get rid of that. Let's figure out everything that we need. So, this is definitely something that we want. The multi-purpose room. We need a hatch. Um, then we need power. So, copper. Again! No! Oh, I can put that away. And these two, because they're dead. Um, we'll get rid of a flare. Don't know why I still have that. Okay, we'll try and get copper along the way. But those are like the biggest things, the most important things. And then more quartz for titanium. 
or more quartz for the lockers and stuff. For now, that's good. But now I need to go find a place to put it. Um, and I'll, along the way, I'll try and grab more copper. Copper, yes. No. No. Yes. Okay, I got two more copper on our, and our inventory is full. So let's head over to Delta Station because this is where I kind of built it last time. Just a little further. I think it was like in between these two. So let's try and find a place like that because I don't want to build it right next to the uh, drop pod. Because then it, it, like there's no point. Why would I have a base right next to the drop pod whenever I have everything in the drop pod that I need? You know, so I, I want to have like a place like kind of in between. So like if I need to, I can go to the drop pod if I need to make something. But otherwise we can go home. So I want to build it kind of far away. I think it's over here where these things are. These like underwater geysers. I don't even know what they are, but I think I built it over this way. So we're going to build it in the same spot because I can't think of another place. Warning. 30 seconds of a oxygen remaining. Fu fumarole? A, a fu yeah. Mm-hmm. Fumarol. These blister-like fumaroles are vents for steam and volcanic gases that cycle through stages of accumulation and release in hidden chambers deep beneath the ocean floor. The gas mixture emitted by a fumarole uh, typically contains carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and hydrogen sulfide sourced directly from bodies of magma. The vibrant, violent explosions seen here get their distinctive purple hue from the additional presence of gaseous iodine in the mixture. Sure. I know exactly what you're talking about because I am, in fact, a scientist. A scientist. Mm -hmm. I can't scan those eyeball things. Why? Ooh, they actually make me really uncomfortable. I don't like the holes. I don't have trypophobia, um, but I don't like it. It makes me uncomfy. Lithium. Oh, yeah. You guys are here. Forgot about that. What are you? A feather fish? Never seen a feather fish in my life. What's in this area? Ooh, there's another PDA. Ah! Okay. Yeah, just go away. Just go away. Aquarium? Yes, please. I need to find a Reginald. Fabricator module. This is the one that I was looking for a while ago. Jukebox disc? Disca. First son, die peacefully. Can I pick it up? Oh. Nice. Ah! <laughs> Don't eat me! I wasn't panicking. You were panicking. Detecting stone of an astronautical Ooh. Soltrans go vessel nearby. Is it that? Vessel name, Mercury 2. Inoperative. Ooh. Ooh! Um, I think I found it. I don't want to be there then. I haven't explored that. I haven't gotten to that part. Where do I want to build the base? I'm too indecisive to be making these decisions. Let's just build it here. Multi-purpose room. We'll put it here. And then I'm going to build a hatch on it. As fast as we can for everything. And then we're going to build a thingy so that we can just go in. A solar panel. Morning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. I know I'm trying to build this as quick as I can so that I don't have to deal with it. Can I make another one? What am I out of? Quartz. Okay. I think there's quartz along this area. Perfect! So now, we need a fabricator. So we'll place the fabricator here. And then we will place a battery charger as well. That's something that I really need. Um, sure. What else do I want in this little area? We don't get a radio this time. Okay, we'll say that's good for that area. And then I'm not going to build like a maze like I did last time. But we definitely need storage. So I'm going to build storage on at least four of the walls. Perfect. Is there anything else? Not that I can think of. We do need a scanner room. That would be really useful. But we can think about that in a second. Hang on. I'm going to place this outside. Saying. There we go. Home. And now it should just appear. How far away do you have to be for it to work? Ah! When did I put a slash in there? Okay, I think this is where I got to last time. Like, kind of. I missed I, maybe, like, a few things. Maybe a, th a few things are different. But... For the most part, I think we've seen everything that I saw last time. So everything from here on out, or at least most of it from here on out, will be new for the both of us. 
unless you guys have already seen Subnautica below zero. But oh, yeah. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And also while you were down there, consider subscribing. There'll be a link down in the description as well as a big red subscribe button below this video. You can press either one. They both do the exact same thing. And it helps the channel out a ton. Also comment absolutely anything. Anyways, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.